On a Miami stage, Democratic presidential hopefuls Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton tangling on immigration. Clinton faulting Sanders for repeatedly voting against a 2007 immigration reform bill. If we had been successful then, a lot of the issues we are still discussing today would be in the rearview mirror. Firing back, Sanders faulting Clinton's opposition of a 2007 effort to let people who were in the country illegally obtain driver's licenses. But both found agreement in pointing to GOP frontrunner Donald Trump as markedly worse on immigration than either of them. He's talking about a very tall wall, right? A beautiful tall wall, uh, the most beautiful tall wall, better than the Great Wall of China. Look, in this country, immigration reform is a very hot debate. It's divided the country. But I would hope very much that as we have that debate, we do not, as Donald Trump and others have done, resort to racism and xenophobia and bigotry. Immigration commanded considerable attention for good reason Wednesday night. Florida is home to nearly 1.8 million Hispanics. The debate opened with a question that appeared to startle Clinton. Univision's Jorge Ramos asking if she would drop out of the race if indicted over the handling of emails while Secretary of State. If you get indicted, would you drop out? Oh, for goodness, that is not going to happen. I'm not even answering that question. Both candidates were bidding for momentum after Sanders surprised Clinton with an upset victory in Michigan on Tuesday. We're going to continue to do extremely well, win a number of these primaries. For all the disagreements, the overall tone of the candidates was considerably less tense than in previous debates. Let me answer that question because it's a huge question. And one of the huge, I know. <laughs> Florida's a big electoral prize. 99 delegates are at stake in the winner-take-all primary vote next Tuesday. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.